Good evening, folks. This is Longshot1982 here with another statue review. Today we are going to be reviewing Agent 47, a cloned assassin also known as the Hitman. The Hitman is basically it's a video game series uh, made by a Square Enix that I believe came out back in 2000. Before that, though, there was a series of uh, you know computer games you could play. Uh, Agent 47 is basically an assassin for hire, the best at what he does. Uh, it started off with the first one installment in the PlayStation series was the Hitman, codenamed 47. Afterwards, they came up with another one called Hitman 2, the Silent Assassin. Then, Hitman 3, Contracts. And then number four, which is my personal favorite, is Blood Money. Now, the most recent one displayed right here for PlayStation 3 is the uh, Hitman Absolution. It was a little bit different take on the series overall. Uh, you know, it's a little bit more direct instead of an open gameplay. I personally love all of the series, every one of them, and believe it or not, there is a number six in production right now for the PS4. Now, in 2007, uh, there was a Hitman movie which uh, lacks something to be desired. But considering it's a video game-based movie, I actually thought it was pretty cool. Because usually video game movies are an atrocity to, to movie making. You know, the, you know, every time you watch it, like, remember Mario Brothers from, from the 80s? Remember the Goombas? That movie was, that movie was so puke-inducing. It's great for dieting. You know, you watch that and you want to vomit all over the floor. Uh, Timothy Oliphant, the guy from Justified, he was the one in, uh, who starred as Agent 47 and made a pretty goddamn good Agent 47, I think. He's a very talented actor. So without further ado, uh, here is Hitman Absolution for the PS3. Both shitloads of fun. All right. The thing about the Hitman series, here's the piece itself. Fantastic. The ballers, his signature ballers, are perfectly accurate. They're beautiful. I mean, even the pin in the the firing pin can be seen. Now, my camera is not that good to show you, but over up here in his gun, there's a, you can see the firing pin, like the actual pin, the part that hits the uh, the bullet before it's fired. The base is made out of marble. Uh, it looks like marble, rather. It's got the official uh, signature of the hitman right here. And the base actually looks like uh, iron, like cold cast iron. I'm going to be using my own version of a Lazy Susan today to show you the rest of the piece in 360 view. In my son's book, Pete the Cat. Playing in the background is the theme of, uh, of the Hitman, which is Amaria. Great song. The suit on this guy is fitted awesome. I mean, it's, it really looks like a beautifully fitted suit. The detail in his boots and his shoes are awesome. They even have the, uh, the barcode on the back of his head. Like you would scan somebody, and at the end, the numbers are clearly visible, uh, number 47. Because, you know, they're all numbered, this team of group of assassins, you know, the, uh, the, that work, you know, for the agency, which is basically just known as the agency. Uh, there's his boots. You can see the laces are tied really neatly. Absolutely beautiful. The um, there's only 250 of this statue made. This is number 100. This is number 51 out of 250. There's an exclusive to this, which I think is absolutely retarded. Uh, it's got him holding a knife, but the way that he's holding the knife, anybody that's trained with knife fighting. Uh, he's kind of has like a pickaxe, he's stabbing it like this. Uh, no trained knife fighter knows, you know, you don't hold a gun like, you don't hold a knife like that. Let me get a close-up of the suit for you. The only shortcut sideshow made with him is that right here, look, I'll take it out for you. This is the, uh, the tie. Okay, that's a pathetic shortcut, but they're all like that. I've seen a few of them. They cut, they actually cut the tips off here. Another problem is that when you're putting the statue together, the, the hands right here, you got to adjust the cuffs so that the magnet hits the picture. I mean, it hits the, uh, the arm. 
This piece otherwise is completely flawless. Like this is right up to par with um with the Red Skull Premium format. I mean the quality is beautiful. You can see his blue eyes painting that cold look that he uses because he has absolutely no emotion when he's doing what he must do. He's doing what he does. That's gonna be it for a, uh, it today, folks. This is a long shot, 1982. Please comment. Please sub me, and uh, you guys have a great night. Take care.